Quercus is the Latin for oak, and folia, coming from the Latin word folium, means leaf. Put those two together and we have Quercifolia, the oak leaf ficus. I can think of no better plant for a terrarium than the oak leaf ficus, also known by its common name, Ficus Quercifolia, or by its correct name, Ficus thunbergii. Its slow growing, creeping habit and tiny oak shaped leaves are absolutely stunning and there's no wonder why it's so popular. By the end of this video, you're going to know a whole lot more about the ficus genus, but most importantly, I'm going to show you the best ways to care for your ficus quercifolia, including how to take cuttings so you'll never run out again. For top quality plant and terrarium advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be the first to know when I upload a new video every Thursday. My name is Ben Newell and I'm a terrarium artist from the UK. I run Worcester Terrariums where I make and sell a large variety of terrariums. You can check out my work on Instagram or Facebook under the handle Worcester Terrariums or you can head to my website at www.worcesterterrariums.co.uk. All the links are in the description below. Ficus is a large genus of plants that sits in the Mulberry, Moraceae, family. It contains over 800 species of plant, 450 of which are found in subtropical Asia. Notable varieties include Ficus carica, which is the edible fig often found in our supermarkets, Ficus bengalensis, the famous banyan trees of Southeast Asia, the largest covering nearly 20,000 square meters, the Bodhi tree, Ficus religiosa, a tree native to India with particular religious significance. In Bodh Gaya, Bihar, Buddha meditated under the Bodhi tree, eventually gaining enlightenment. And the plant this video is about, the tiny leaved creeping Ficus quercifolia that is loved by terrarium enthusiasts around the globe. All ficus have a few common traits which are important to identifying and classifying them. All ficus exude a milky latex when cut. This can irritate skin and even cause blindness, so extreme care must be taken when handling any ficus species. Ficus have an enclosed inflorescence known as a syconium, meaning both male and female flowers are contained on the inside, which leads nicely onto the next point. All ficus are pollinated by geographically specific wasps and cannot be pollinated by other insects. The relationship between fig wasps and their relative trees has been thousands of years in the making. Here is a paragraph written by Jerry Mislick in his fantastic book, The World of Ficus Bonsai. Ficus quercifolia is a great terrarium plant. It's a smaller leaved and slower growing version of Ficus pamela, also known as the creeping fig. Given time, it will become ground cover or a background plant though it will take a lot longer to grow than Ficus pamela. It's native to East Asia, so if you're in a temperate country, try not to let the temperatures dip below 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. That will cause the plant to go into a dormant state and stop growing. If you grow any species of ficus, I'd love to know about it. Comment below and tell me what your favorite species is. Taking cuttings is easy. I simply take a shoot that has three to five leaves. It doesn't need roots, but if it does, it'll increase the chances of the cutting success. I place it on the surface of some moist substrate topped with sphagnum moss. It's important to keep the atmosphere humid. The humidity is important to the cutting success. It's normal for the odd cutting to fail, so take a few to avoid disappointment. This is my preferred planting method. Take a large container and fill it with good quality substrate. The link to my substrate mix is here. Top it with a layer of sphagnum moss. The moss keeps hold of moisture well and helps the cuttings root. As before, take cuttings and rest them on the surface of the moss. Cover with a lid to seal the humidity in and leave under a grow light. 
Once established, it can actually perform well as a houseplant. Check out this incredible specimen grown by Charles Dewsnap in the USA. I'm no expert on lighting, but I do try to refrain from referring to plants as shade or low light loving, because that has a high degree of ambiguity. These cuttings were in a terrarium that received low light levels. Notice the leaves are large, a common trait in plants that are receiving insufficient light. This particular cutting has been under good quality light. It was in a propagation tub where the soil was kept moist and the humidity is high. It was grown under an Arcadia LED jungle dawn bar. Allowing the plant to grow is important to its health and allows it to develop vigour. Constantly taking cuttings reduces the photosynthetic rate and can result in an unhealthy plant. If you're like me and you make a lot of terrariums, it can be difficult to resist the temptation to take cuttings. I advise you buy more plants specifically for the purpose of taking cuttings. I hope you enjoyed this Ficus quercifolia plant profile video. For discussion on this topic and many others, you can catch me on Instagram Live every Monday at 3 p.m. GMT, that's UK time. Alternatively, you can join my Facebook discussion group. It's called Terrarium Group and you can put in a request to join. All the links are in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving me a like below, subscribe and comment with what you enjoyed most about it. I look forward to reading your feedback and I'll see you in the next video.